We've been on every one of them since they took out our ship. That's why I wanted you here. You're looking good. Oh, well, I try. Today, we're diving into the exciting future of superhero cinema at our beloved Marvel and Company. The Marvel Cinematic Universe and Sony's Spider-Man Universe are both gearing up for some major expansions, and there's a lot to look forward to for us. After the game-changing events of Avengers Endgame, superhero storytelling has entered a whole new era. At San Diego Comic-Con 2022, Marvel Studios unveiled their ambitious plans for the multiverse saga, and despite a few production delays, their timeline is moving forward with some exciting new projects as revealed at the latest San Diego Comic-Con 2024. On the Marvel side, Phases 5 and 6 are set to dive deeper into the multiverse, with a lineup of films that promise to shake things up in the MCU. Meanwhile, Sony Pictures is continuing to expand its Spider-Man universe with a number of new releases, namely Kraven the Hunter and Venom 3 in 2024 only. So whether you're a Marvel fan or a Spider-Man enthusiast, there's plenty of superhero action on the horizon. Let's take a closer look at what's coming up and how these new projects are set to shape the future of our favorite comic book heroes. 1. Venom – The Last Dance After battling Riot and Carnage in the first two Venom movies, Eddie Brock and his symbiote are back for what's supposed to be their final showdown. We've seen them face off against some pretty intense villains, so the big question is, who's going to be the big bad this time around? The movie's been a bit of a roller coaster in terms of its release schedule. Originally set for July 12, 2024, then pushed to November 8, 2024, and now it's landing in October. I guess the film's team really wanted to nail down the perfect spot for it. It's definitely worth the wait if you're a Venom fan. Now let's talk about the plot. After the events of the previous films, Eddie and Venom had a pretty wild ride, but here's where things get interesting. Remember when Doctor Strange's spell accidentally pulled Venom into the MCU? Well, that didn't last long, and he was soon sent back. That brief visit left a lot of fans wondering if we might see some crossover action. So, who's our villain this time? While the movie hasn't spilled all its secrets, there's some buzz about possible connections to other characters in Sony's Spider-Man universe. Think about it. Morbius and Kraven the Hunter could definitely shake things up, and here's a wild thought. Could Spider-Man actually make an appearance? Venom's seen him on TV in another universe, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched. The movie's title, The Last Dance, suggests this could be a grand finale for Eddie and Venom. It's a pretty dramatic name, right? It makes you wonder if this will be the end of their story, or if it'll leave room for more adventures down the line. Either way, it's shaping up to be a thrilling ride. As for what we can expect, if you love the chaotic, dark humor of the first two films, you're probably in for more of the same. Venom's unique blend of dark and funny, paired with intense action sequences, has become a hallmark of the series. If they keep up the energy and introduce some cool new characters or twists, we're in for a treat. 2. Craven the Hunter Craven the Hunter is set to hit theaters on December 13, 2024. The release date has shifted around a bit, but now it's finally landing at the end of the year. So what's the deal with Craven the Hunter? This film is a big deal for a few reasons. First off, it's the first R-rated movie in Sony's Spider-Man universe. That's right, no more PG-13. This means we're probably in for some seriously intense and gritty action with a bit more realism and violence than we've seen in Sony's previous Marvel projects. If you were hoping for something a little more hardcore, this might just be the movie for you. Now let's talk about the star of the show, Aaron Taylor Johnson. He's taking on the role of Craven, and from what we've seen so far, he's bringing a grounded and intense portrayal to the character. Craven is a classic villain who's often portrayed as a hunter with a fierce obsession for the ultimate prey. With Taylor Johnson's take, we're likely going to see a version of Craven that's a bit more raw and intense. After a mixed reaction to Madam Web, which didn't quite hit the mark for a lot of fans, Sony is really hoping that Craven will help restore some faith in their corner of the Marvel Universe. The movie's tone and rating suggest they're going for something a bit different this time around, aiming for a more mature audience with a taste for darker, more realistic superhero stories. And here's something that's got fans buzzing. Could we see Spider-Man make an appearance? Nothing's confirmed yet from either Sony or Marvel Studios, but there's a lot of speculation. Given that this is a Spider-Man Universe film, it wouldn't be too surprising if there were some kind of crossover or at least a mention of the Web Slinger. 
Draven's character is all about hunting, and he's one of Spider-Man's classic foes, so it could be pretty exciting to see how they play with that dynamic. Whether or not Spider-Man shows up, it looks like Kraven the Hunter will dive deep into the gritty side of the Spider-Man universe, offering a new kind of superhero story. Captain America Brave New World Captain America Brave New World is set to hit theaters on February 14, 2025, and this film is a big deal because it marks Anthony Mackie's debut as the new Captain America. That's right. Sam Wilson is officially taking up the shield, and fans are excited to see what's in store. So let's talk about the movie. It was originally set for a May 2024 release, then moved to July, and now it's landing in February 2025. Seems like Marvel's really taking their time to get this one just right. Now, the film was initially going to be called New World Order, but now it's Brave New World. The title change might hint at a new direction or a fresh take on Captain America's story. Anthony Mackie's Captain America is going to team up with Joaquin Torres, the new Falcon, and together they're set to face off against some pretty big names. First up, we've got The Leader, played by Tim Blake Nelson. If you remember, The Leader was last seen in The Incredible Hulk. He's a supervillain with some serious brain power, so it'll be interesting to see how he fits into this new storyline. But that's not all. The new president of the United States in the MCU is Thaddeus Ross, and he's now played by Harrison Ford. Ford's casting is a huge deal, especially after the passing of the late William Hurt. Ross is going to play a significant role in this film, and there are rumors that he might have some ulterior motives. He's going to ask Sam Wilson to assemble a new Avengers team but is he asking for the right reasons? Adding more intrigue to the plot, Carl Lumbly's Isaiah Bradley will be caught up in a mind control plot aimed at assassinating the president. This sounds like a major twist and adds a layer of mystery and danger to the story. And there's something huge. The trailer revealed that President Ross will be transforming into Red Hulk. This has been a long-awaited event in the MCU, and seeing it finally come to life on the big screen is going to be epic. Another exciting tidbit from the 2024 San Diego Comic-Con is that Giancarlo Esposito will be playing Sidewinder, the leader of the Serpent Society. This means we're getting some fresh villains in the mix. Plus, Adamantium will be introduced in this movie. For those who don't know, Adamantium is the super tough material found in Wolverine's claws and the bodies of Celestials, so this is a big deal for the MCU. Thunderbolts this movie is going to bring together some of Marvel's most interesting villains and anti-heroes, and it's shaping up to be a wild ride. Let's get into it. Thunderbolts is hitting theaters a bit earlier than initially planned. It was originally set for a December 2024 release, but now it swapped dates with the Fantastic Four, landing in May 2025. This change is sure to shake things up a bit, but it also means we're getting a sneak peek at this new team sooner than expected. So what's the deal with Thunderbolts? Unlike the Avengers, who are all about saving the world with a team of heroes, the Thunderbolts are made up of villains and antagonists from previous Marvel projects. They're coming together to take on a mysterious mission for the US government. It's a pretty cool twist to see these characters teaming up, and it's a nice change of pace from the usual superhero squad. One of the big questions is why CIA director Valentina Allegra de Fontaine has been recruiting these morally ambiguous characters. We know she's been making some shady moves behind the scenes, and this film might shed some light on her motives. There's a lot of speculation about who we'll see in the lineup. Rumor has it that the Sentry and Red Hulk might make an appearance. At the 2024 San Diego Comic-Con, it was revealed that Lewis Pullman's character is known as Bob, which could be a nod to the Sentry's real name, Robert Reynolds. Plus, Red Hulk's involvement is definitely a possibility, especially with the recent changes in the MCU's roster. The footage shown at San Diego Comic-Con also gave us some juicy tidbits about the plot. We saw that the US agent might have a child, which adds a new layer to his character. And if you're a fan of Yelena and Alexei from Black Widow, you'll be excited to know that there's a reunion between them in the film. Also, Bucky Barnes is shown in Congress which could be a fascinating development considering his journey from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Fantastic Four First Steps After a couple of less than stellar attempts in the past, this is Marvel's big chance to make the first family shine in the MCU. Now let's break it down. 
We all know Fox gave it a shot with the Fantastic Four back in 2005 and again in 2015, but neither film really hit the mark. Fast forward to 2019, when Disney acquired Fox, and suddenly the Fantastic Four were on their way to the MCU. Fans have been eagerly waiting, and now we finally have a release date. So what can we expect from the Fantastic Four first steps? The film's title was revealed at the 2024 San Diego Comic-Con, and it's already sparking a lot of speculation. The name suggests a fresh start for Marvel's iconic superhero team and might hint at their initial steps into the MCU. The first image we got shows the team with a retro 1960s setting, giving off a cool retro futuristic vibe. It kind of reminds me of The Incredibles, but with that classic Fantastic Four flair. And we're also getting a new addition to the team, a robot sidekick named Herbie, or humanoid experimental robot B-type integrated electronics. It's great to see a bit of the team's classic charm being brought back. The cast is looking pretty impressive. While some roles are still unknown, we know John Malkovich, Paul Walter Hauser, and Natasha Lyonne will be joining the film in undisclosed roles. Ralph Ineson is set to play Galactus, and Julia Garner will portray the Silver Surfer, Shalabal. Galactus and the Silver Surfer are huge players in the Marvel Universe, so it's exciting to see them making an appearance. The new title, The Fantastic Four First Steps, has led to a ton of theories. Some think it's a nod to the team's long-awaited debut in the MCU. Others are speculating that it might reference Reed Richards and Sue Storm's children, Franklin and Valeria. Either way, the title definitely sets the stage for a big introduction. Given the hype, this film is expected to be a major player in the MCU going forward. With the Fantastic Four being so central to Marvel's future plans, it'll be interesting to see how they fit into the larger universe and what kind of adventures they'll embark on. Blade Blade, which is now set to hit theaters on November 7, 2025. That's right. This film has faced quite a few bumps in the road, but it looks like Marvel Studios is determined to bring us a fantastic new take on the iconic vampire hunter. So let's start with the backstory. Blade was originally supposed to come out in 2023, but the production hit some major snags. After losing its original director and going through a series of rewrites, the release date has been pushed back to November 2025. It was initially set for February 14, 2025, but it's now landing a bit later in the year. All these delays might sound concerning, but there's a silver lining. Marvel Studios has plenty of time to get things right and deliver a Blade movie that honors the character's long history on screen. Fans have been eagerly awaiting the return of this vampire hunter, especially with Mahershala Ali stepping into the role. Ali is an incredible actor, and there's a lot of excitement about how he'll bring Blade to life in the MCU. The movie's production challenges don't mean it's all bad news. In fact, these delays might have allowed the team to really refine the story and make sure they get it just right. Blade is a character with a rich history, and the team at Marvel is likely keen to do it justice to that legacy. One of the cool things to look forward to is the potential introduction of the Ebony Blade. If you're not familiar, the Ebony Blade is a mystical weapon that's been part of Blade's lore, and it's a pretty big deal in the comics. Plus, there's speculation that Kit Harington's Dane Whitman might make an appearance. If you remember, Whitman had a brief voice cameo in Eternals, so it would be interesting to see if he pops up in Blade's world. Despite the production hiccups, the anticipation is high. Mahershala Ali's casting as Blade was met with a lot of excitement, and he's known for delivering powerful performances. With the movie now scheduled for November 2025, Marvel has ample time to perfect the film and make sure it's a standout entry in the MCU. Avengers Doomsday, May 1, 2026 This film is shaping up to be a game-changer for the Marvel Universe, and there's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. First off, you might remember that this movie was originally titled The Kang Dynasty. However, the title has been changed to Avengers Doomsday, reflecting a major shift in the film's direction. Initially, Destin Daniel Cretton, who directed Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, was set to direct this Avengers film. Jeff Loveness, who wrote Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, was also on board to pen this script, but there have been some significant changes along the way. Cretton left the project in November 2023, and Michael Waldron, known for his work on Loki, took over the scripting duties. And here's where things get really interesting. 
Jonathan Majors, who was originally cast as Kang the Conqueror, has been replaced as the focal antagonist. In a surprising twist, Doctor Doom is now the main villain. This switch in villains explains the movie's new title. The 2024 San Diego Comic-Con revealed that Robert Downey Jr., who famously played Iron Man, will be stepping into the role of Doctor Doom. This news is huge, especially since Downey has been absent from the MCU since Tony Stark's death in Avengers Endgame. Seeing him return, albeit as a different character, is definitely going to stir up a lot of excitement. Doctor Doom is one of Marvel's most iconic villains, so having Downey take on this role adds a whole new layer of intrigue. Also confirmed at Comic-Con was the return of the Russo brothers to direct Avengers Doomsday and its sequel Avengers Secret Wars. The Russos, who directed Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, are returning to steer the ship for these two monumental films. Their involvement is a big win for fans, given the massive success and critical acclaim of their previous Avengers films. With them back in the director's chair, we can expect a grand epic scale for this new chapter. As for the story, Avengers Doomsday is expected to feature the formation of the MCU's new Avengers team. This will be a crucial development, especially as we move into Phase 6 and beyond. With Doctor Doom as the new major antagonist, we're in for some serious drama and action. So, what are your thoughts on the title change and the new direction for Avengers Doomsday? Are you excited to see Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom? And what do you think about the Russo brothers returning to direct? With so many exciting projects on the horizon, the superhero genre is set to hit new heights. From the final showdown of Venom to the debut of the MCU's Fantastic Four and the dramatic return of Blade, there's something for every fan to look forward to. But what are you most excited about? Are you eager to see how the Thunderbolts shake things up or curious about the new direction for Avengers Doomsday? Let me know your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we'll see you in the next one.